welcome to project 72 of this course so in this video we are going to be practicing how we can change the css variable by just using our javascript so here you can see we have this image right here and your video quality is not like low so but we provide a blurriness right here so if i just decrease that so here you can see this image will be totally perfectly shown right here okay so if you just put a little bit of spacing on this border so it'll now just put a little bit of spacing right there and this is a huge spacing we can just increase or decrease there okay so however you want and then we have a blurness we can want like a little bit of blurness then like a little bit more a lot of blurness and so on and so forth we can also change the color like uh let me just change the color to like this uh kind of tealish kind of color right here so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right to our coder and write our code so to do that first of all let me just create a folder given name of like 072 of come on update uh css variables uh using javascript <laughs> kind of a long name for a folder but you know what we are going to go with that so now let me just create three files in here so we have index.html then we have style.css and finally we have or app.js for javascript so now let me just make that a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code okay so now let me just first of all write my doc type html link it with our javascript and also with our css as well now let me just change the title to be like um update css would be fine okay we, we don't want to go crazy so now let me just hide this metadata really quickly come on let me just hide this metadata save it right click on it and open it with a live server so everything is now working the way we expect him to work all right so now for html we are not going to be going crazy but we are going to be first of all creating a container inside this container we are going to be creating our controls container inside this controls container we are going to be first of all writing a label for or spacing and now here let me just add my spacing variable uh label right here and now let me just add our input with the type of range and the id of spacing and <laughs> uh, let me just give a name of like spacing as well and <laughs> let me just give a min uh attribute to be 10 and now let, let me just give a max attribute to be 200 and finally and <laughs> let me just provide a value of 10 so now if we just save that so this is the value for label spacing okay so now let me just create a new one which will be like label or blurness so now let me just write our blur in here and underneath that we are going to be creating our input with the type of blur not blur <laughs> the type of range and now let's just provide the id of blur as well and also the name will be blur and the min value will be zero and the max value will be just like 25 and then the value just a value will be set to 10 7 so now the next thing which you have to do is to create a label for label or or base and now let me just write a color in here and underneath that we are going to be creating our input with the type of color and let me just provide the id of base in here and also the name will be base and also let me just give him a little bit of value value of a color like uh ffc and then six um 600 would be fine okay so underneath this div we are going to be placing or image right here so and this image will be inside this container but outside from this controls container so let me just remove this alt really quickly and place it with the image so now let me just write like unsplash and un come on and splash of nature and now let's just go the first time it gives the nature instead of girls all right so now let me just choose whichever kind of image we want shout out to this person like david marku right click on it and copy with copy image address and then pass this link right here save it and this is our image right here and basically i'm going to be changing this image once i'm done with this video you can choose whichever kind of image you like and we are now totally done with our project uh, i mean our <laughs> html side of code so first of all we have container inside this container we have two things the first thing we have is our controls container and then outside from this controls container we have this image right here so for controls we have a label of spacing and we have this input right here with the time of range id of spacing and you get the idea and then we have a label for blurness and we get our range input and we provide id of blurness 
uh, name of blur and min will be 0 and max value will be 25 and value will be 10 and then we have this uh, level of color and finally we have this color input right here and now we are good to go to get started working with our style sheet so for css we are not going to be writing our crazy css so we are going to be just writing our margin 0 and padding 0 and now we are going to be declaring our variables inside a css so now let me just write a base and change this color to like ffc600 which is that same color we provided right here which is this color right here this kind of yellowish color and let me just get my uh spacing variable in there and now let's just set that to 10 pixel and then we have our blur variable which will be now set to 2 pixel okay so that's them now let me just get my image in there which is this image right here okay now let's just format that a bit so the padding will be just like war of this uh spacing and now let me just get my background of not background color but just a background of this base and also the filter value will be set to like blur very blur function inside this um, blur function we are going to be using or variable which will be like war and then dash dash blur okay so save it now the next thing which you have to do is to just give a width of like 100 vh so save it and this is how it looks like right now so we set the spacing to be like 10 pixel and the blurriness to be like 2 pixel so if i just change that to 0 and this is how the image looks like if i just set it to 2 and this is how it looks like right now okay so we are done with the image so now let me just get my uh container which is this container right here and now let me just tile that a bit so i'm going to just write a container text align will be center and now let's just change the font family to like sans serif font size to be like 20 pixel and margin to be like 20 pixel as well save it and this is how it looks like now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to get our controls right here so now let me just get our controls okay so um inside these controls we are going to be just part a margin bottom to be like 50 pixel save it and this is how it looks like and finally let's just get our inputs like all of the inputs we have and now let's just style them so now let me just write a width of like 100 pixel border will be come on border will be totally none and background will be just transparent save it and this is how it looks like right now so if i refresh it and i'm gonna say bye bye to this unsplash and finally we are ready to go to our javascript and provide our interactivity so the first thing i would do is i'll just get all of my inputs so i'm just write a query selector of all and now let me just get all of my controls input okay so now let me just log that to or console and now if i just check so we have spacing blurness and base so we've selected everything the way we expect him to select so now let's just iterate over through these inputs so we are going to be getting our input and also we are going to be attaching our event listener of change uh, so once we change this so we want to uh, call this function which will be like handle update okay handle all right, so that's that. Now the next thing that you have to do is to just finally create this function and we are done with our project. So now let me just create this function of handle update. And finally inside this function, we are going to be checking like this dot name. So what is our name set to first of all? So if we log that to the console and if we just change the spacing, so or um, um, what do we call it? Or this dot name is now set to spacing. And now let me just um, remove this blurness. So here you can see it no longer uses this blur. And if we change the color to like something else, so here you can see it no longer uses the base class. So we have everything we need to work with. So now let's just start working on it. So indentation a bit. Here we are going to be using a ternary operator. So like this dot name is equal to base. So we want to provide or suffix suffix value to be empty string not double equal but just single equal otherwise if that's not true so you want to check or suffix value set the suffix value to be like pixel and then let me just get my document or document or element and then just tile and then set properties so now we are setting our variables through our javascript so let me just set the variable to like dash dash and then this dot name Okay, which we just see in a second which is this this star name right here and then outside from that we are going to be placing our comma in here this dot value value and then let's just add our suffix to it suffix so now if you save that and now if we just change the spacing so it will not use this spacing right here if we change the blurness so it will now remove this blurness now let me just show you that 
And if you just provide a blur, and it's certainly not blurry that much time. Okay, and here you can see we are not, we cannot even see our image right here. If I just remove it, certainly so not totally remove it. If I make the spacing a little bit bigger, and if we change the color to be like uh, my favorite color, like this one, and now let's just pour a little bit of blurriness to it, like so, and pour a little bit of spacing. So here you can see we have this spacing. I mean, like we have this frame right here. Anyhow, so we are done with this project, and also I think that was it about today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.